Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making four really easy recipes all using Bisquick. Oh man. Really quickly before we get started, if you are not in the US and you don't have access to Bisquick, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Basically, it is just a pre-made baking mix. I'm gonna leave a recipe to making your own Bisquick below. Today, I'm just using the store-bought Bisquick because I have access to it. But if it's something that you're interested in and you wanted to know how to make it, I'll have that linked in the description box. So two of the recipes today are more like a breakfast dish and then two of the recipes are a dinner dish. One of the breakfast recipes is one that I have shared over on my Instagram before. We make it a good bit here in this house. I don't think I've ever shared it on YouTube and I'm not really sure why I haven't, but I'll include that today. But I'm also gonna be making a new one to me today. We're gonna do it first. It is called a triple berry muffin but I'm just going to be using blueberries just because that's what I already have on hand. You want to use frozen berries for this recipe. There is a reason why. I'll explain that in just a second. To get started, I've got my oven preheating to 400. I'm gonna put these little muffin liners in here. Next, I wanna go ahead and use some vegetable spray to spray my liners just to make it a little bit easier to remove the muffins out of them when we're done. Okay, let's set this to the side and let's mix up the batter. The first thing we're gonna do is add two cups of our Bisquick to a large bowl. I need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one egg slightly beaten, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two thirds a cup of milk, and a third a cup of sugar. Let's just mix all of this together. Now that we've mixed all of that, I'm gonna add in one cup of frozen blueberries. You don't want to thaw these out. These are gonna help keep your muffins super inward not dry. We're gonna gently fold these in. I can tell I had them sitting out on the counter for a little bit while I was doing all of this. So my muffins are gonna be colored a little bit, but that's okay. Now I'm just filling my muffin cups, being careful to make sure that I can get the muffin cup to go down into the tin. Okay, so I filled 12 muffin cups. These are going in the oven at 400 for 15 to 17 minutes. Okay, these look pretty good. They are very blue. So I highly recommend keeping your berries in the freezer until you're right ready to put them in. Right ready? I said it. This particular one is not the prettiest, but out of 12, to have one that looks like it exploded, like a little, I don't know, that looks kind of like a volcano, that's not too bad. We're gonna go with it. Let's taste these. I think I've told you one or two times in the past that I am not a baker. This is why I say that. <laughs> My stuff does not turn out very pretty, but as long as it tastes good, right? It's a little lopsided. Lopsided? I know it's it's lopsided, right? But I always say wopsided. Tell me below, what do you say? Maybe that's just a Southern thing. Maybe it's just a Mandy thing. I don't know. Let's try this. These are perfect. They're not dense, they're very light. They're not too sweet, they're not like overly sweet. I love the large blueberries in there so that when you get one of those, they just kind of burst in your mouth. So this is a Bisquick blueberry muffin? Mm-hmm. Hmm, whoa. You put some blueberries in that thing. Some straight up blueberries. That's some real blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> not fake. <clears throat> Cole would not approve of these because they've got the big blueberries in there. He doesn't mm. like the texture of blueberries. He like big blueberries. <laughs> okay y'all let's move on to our second recipe this is the one that i've shared on instagram before but never shared here i don't think i just call these sausage muffins but they're basically sausage egg and cheese muffins kind of sausage and cheese muffins you just call it whatever you want you can call it good because it is and one of the best things about this recipe is it's only four ingredients 
and it's so quick. Okay, the first thing I need to do is cook my sausage. I have the Country Mild sausage this time, not because I wanted it, but that's all my grocery store had, but let's go cook this up. Okay, while this starts to brown up, I'm gonna shred one cup of cheddar cheese. You could always use just pre-shredded. I've got four eggs that I cracked into this bowl. I'm just gonna scramble these a little bit or stir them a little bit. So I have this large bowl here. I'm going to add one cup of Bisquick. To my one cup of Bisquick, I'm gonna add four eggs, stir that around. Okay, now that that is all incorporated, I'm gonna add in our pound of sausage and our one cup of cheddar cheese. Just gonna stir all of this around and then I'm going to grease my muffin tin. This will make 12 sausage muffins. Now that I've got all 12 spots filled, let's put this in 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, now it's time to make our third Bisquick meal. This is gonna be our dinner tonight. If you have some leftover chicken that you really just don't know what to do with and you have some Bisquick, Chances are you have these other ingredients too. We're just gonna make a really easy chicken pot pie. First of all, I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I've got this glass pie plate. Mine is more like a 10 inch instead of a nine inch, which is what the recipe calls for. But this couldn't get any easier. I've got about one and two thirds a cup of frozen vegetables that I have thawed out. You could use canned vegetables, just drain them. Or if you have leftover veggies that you want to cook, that would be a great way are a great use of those as well. We're just gonna dump them directly in here. I did not grease this pie plate. I've also got some leftover rotisserie chicken, about a cup of chopped up chicken, and a can of cream of chicken soup. We're just gonna stir this directly here in the pie plate, and then I'm gonna add some seasonings too. You don't have to, but it could be a little bland if you don't add any seasonings. The first seasoning I'm gonna add is poultry seasoning, and I added a lot. <laughs> kind of all dumped out at once. Let's mix that together. Our next seasoning is onion powder and we're gonna add a little garlic powder as well. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of sea salt. I feel like there's already salt in that cream of chicken soup, but I'm gonna add just a little more. For our topping, I just need one cup of Bisquick and one egg. Let's stir all of that together. You know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper too. Okay, I'm just gonna pour our Bisquick mixture over the top. And this is ready for the oven. It's going in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay. That is really good. Oh wow. Yes. Man. Tremendous chicken flavor. Great flavor. Okay. I, thought, I think the seasoning is perfect. Okay. This. It is good. not bland whatsoever. Good. Really, really good. I love the um, the pie crust part of it. Yeah. I love that. Um, it's not like anything I've had. It feels like a, it feels like a homemade chicken pot pie. Yeah. It took me like less than ten minutes to assemble. So, mm. like five minutes. So Very easy. good. Okay. Awesome. This chicken pot pie is spot on, but if you're wanting a little more of the sauce, I recommend doing two cans of the cream of chicken. I think that would be perfect. Okay, so I've got one more recipe for you. I did not get to it yesterday. It ended up being a very long day, so I'm cooking this on another day, but I'm really excited about this one. I'm gonna change it up and add a few things to make it more towards our liking, but it's called Impossible Cheeseburger Pie. The prep for this is really easy. I'm just going to dice this onion using my little dicer here. I'm also gonna add some garlic. The recipe doesn't call for that, but we love garlic in this house. I'm just gonna add it directly to this onion. And lastly, we are gonna add a little bit of heat to ours. These are just these little chili peppers that we grew in our Charlie Brown garden. Okay, that's it. I've got all of our veggies ready. We're gonna go over to the stove and cook our ground beef along with these. Today I'm gonna to use my cast iron skillet because I'm just gonna cook everything in here and then put it directly into the oven. If you don't have a cast iron skillet or an 
an oven proof skillet, then you could always just put it into a pie plate after you've done this portion. I've got one pound of ground beef. This is lean, 93.7. Now that I've broken all of that up and it's starting to cook, let's add in our onion, our garlic, and our pepper. While that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and shred up one cup of cheddar cheese. You could always use pre-shredded. Okay, this is done cooking. It's completely browned. I'm just gonna turn this off and remove it from the heat. Okay, before we finish everything up, we just need to make our topping mixture, which includes a half a cup of bisquick, two eggs, one cup of milk, and the recipe calls for two tablespoons of onion soup mix. This is just what I had in my pantry, so we're gonna go with it. I'm not exactly sure how many tablespoons are in here, but I am gonna measure it out just so that I don't overdo it. There's just a little bit left, just in case you were wondering. I'm just gonna whisk all of this together. Okay, let's assemble the rest of our pie. I'm gonna kinda get this in an even layer. And we're gonna sprinkle the cheese right over top of it. And now we're just gonna pour over our bisquick mixture. And that's it. This is going in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Steven is working right now, it's lunchtime. He should be getting off of a call in just a minute, so hopefully he'll come in here and take a bite as well. And I think Cole might come in here and grab some too. I think this is delicious. I would have added a little more spice to it. I think I'm gonna actually go grab some hot sauce and pour over the top. That's exactly what it needed. It's perfection, it is such a good lunch. I'm gonna go finish enjoying this and I'll let you know what the guys think. Wow, that's good. Mmm. Cole said it reminded him. Oh, I didn't mm. tell y'all. Cole gave this two thumbs up. He loved it. He said it reminds him a little bit of shepherd's pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you give this two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. I do content like this all of the time, bringing you new recipes. So if you aren't already a member of the YouTube family, hit that subscribe button before you go. So I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm blue. That one had a bad day. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. I'll still eat you. <laughs> How do you do this? Come here. What is this you, you just gotta, because it's gotta exhale. You're still too close. There you go. Hey. There you go. Let me take these like aspirin tablets. He told me he was gonna come in here and get one bite that he wasn't hungry. He's on muffin number two. Mm-hmm. You muffin. Ow. Give her a bite. Not a blueberry, just the. Diva. Do you want it or not? So, hey, Gracie. <laughs> it's a sausage muffin. I mean, you just make a muffin with sausage in it, <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> what would you call that? A, it's a sausage what'd muffin. What would you call it? A, a pig and a pillow? A pig and a pi no. Okay. I don't know. We're done. We're done. <laughs>